Welcome folks. I just received this shipment from Jamie's Tarantulas. I was expecting these uh, bilateralis feeder roaches uh, last week, but the Postal Service got, uh, held them up for a few days. Um, so they just arrived. Um, it's supposed to be uh, priority mail today, but it took uh, five days to get to me. I hope that they're still alive. Uh, they shipped from California to Maryland in 90 degree weather, so I'm concerned. Uh, let's open them up and see what we find. So um, the first thing that I took out was this uh, large piece of foam insulation. Um, the, the package inside also has styrofoam, uh, thick styrofoam insulation around it and packing peanuts inside. Um, and there is a damp paper towel around the plastic container that contains um, 50 mixed uh, lateralis roaches and 10 uh, pinheads um, and looking inside I can see movement so I think I think they survived just fine um, so uh, let me move my framing so um, yeah I'm going to put them in the enclosure uh, open the lid and, and hopefully they'll well, they'll definitely come out so hopefully they'll Enjoy their new home. Just looking to see if I've missed any uh, small roaches, but it looks fine. I'm just going to shake that off a bit, um, but that's okay. Um, these are uh, forest-dwelling cockroaches, um, not um, pests by um, evolution, <laughs> um, but they can become pests if they get out, and I am in a suburban environment, so I don't want to be responsible for starting anything unfortunate. Um, so I'm trying to make sure that I don't accidentally release anything into the wild here. Um, I do notice that, so the temperature was fine, so it looks like most of these guys survived. Uh, some of the citrus fruit <laughs> that was packed in here has um, molded over, um, so that's not great, but um, I don't think it's a problem either. Um, I do have some uh, springtails and isopods coming in the next few days um, and hopefully and I'll be adding them to this enclosure so hopefully they'll help take care of that kind of mold and bacteria um, as it happens um, so I'm going to take that I, I know I'm using tongs and uh, paintbrush and stuff which is completely unnecessary with cockroaches um, but I'm trying to practice good habits when handling insects um, or arthropods, more generically. Um, so I'm going to just kind of put this piece of fruit in there. <laughs> There's a <laughs> lot of critters in here. And I believe that, I don't know if you can see it in, in frame. So this, this roach that's inside has what looks to be an utheca sticking out. So I think I'm going to have even more cockroaches <laughs> uh, in, in short order. Uh, so I will stop violently moving her and let her sort of come out on her own. this 
plastic container down, so down to encourage some of them to come out. So I, when I had tarantulas when I was a kid, we had uh, Madagascan hissing cockroaches for them, uh, which were fun, <laughs> large cockroaches, uh, very harmless to people, um, but um, they had pretty thick shells. So um, I was feeding them to P. Marinus, uh tarantulas, which were pretty, pretty sturdy and seemed to be happy with the, those cockroaches, but might have, I did lose one of them prematurely, which might have been due to or the thick shells on the hissing cockroaches might have contributed to that. It can damage their fangs. So um, I'm restarting after a 20-year hiatus with tarantulas, um, going back to some avicularia or, or avicularinae. Um, so I'm starting with smaller, uh, thinner shelled cockroaches that also have the benefit that they cannot climb smooth surfaces, so the glass is definitely okay. I'm hoping that the aquarium um, caulk is also smooth enough that they can't climb it because uh, I don't want them to escape. And having them on the uh, forest floor in here uh, is greatly preferable to having them up on the edges and around the, the inside of the lid. Um, okay, I don't see any more on this piece of cardboard. Recycled egg crate, whatever. Okay. And then I also don't see anything else moving in here, so I believe that is empty. Okay. So I'm going to put this, put this empty egg crate back in the plastic container. I think I saw Mama Roach okay, get off of this, so yeah, keep brushing off the remainders, get out of there. Now, when I was a kid, we had the, the kind of more typical uh, cockroach setup where it's just a bunch of these um, egg crate stacked up on one another with some open areas for food bowls and the like, um, and it was always kind of depressing, like a prison for bugs that are going to die, um, which didn't make me feel great. So this time around, I'm giving them a somewhat nicer home. I acknowledge that the drawback of this is that actually finding some of the <laughs> cockroaches available to feed is going to be more difficult in this way, um, but that's a, a price I'm, I think I'm willing to pay. and. If it turns out that that is too difficult, uh, I will rehouse them into a simpler enclosure. But for the moment, I think I can see, well, the cockroaches are settling in, um, but for the moment, I can still see many of them, so I'm not, I'm not super worried about it. Okay, now that the container, the jelly cup, is empty, I'm going to take out the moldy fruit, um, put it in here, and dispose of this sealed container um, so that the, um, any, any critters that happen to be left over in here that I missed uh, will not be released in my apartment or in the dumpsters and uh, we should be safe from a devastating cockroach invasion. Um, and when I get um, some cleaner bugs, the uh, isopods and springtails, uh, they should help clean up some of the um, cockroach parts that came with the container. So overall, um, although the shipping was delayed by the postal service, which was uh, disappointing, uh, I am very pleased with the packaging job that Jamie's tarantulas did. Uh, these are uh, smaller cockroaches than I'm used to. Um, <laughs> and one of them is already munching away on a bit of dog kibble that I put in there. Um, my dog is going to be very jealous. Um, there's also a 
a Talenti lid full of water. Uh, they have some hiding areas. Now let's see if any of them have made their homes in here. Oh, a couple of small ones have, so that's cool. Um, and we will let them get settled in from their long journey on the road. Um, yeah, again, um, thanks for watching this unboxing. Um, very pleased with Jamie's tarantulas and the packaging job that they did and the so the animals arrived alive with plenty of food left in the carton that was well packaged for temperature and uh, jostling on the road. Uh, these are exactly what I expected and they are happily settling into their their new home um, to meet their fate down the road when I get some tarantulas to keep them busy. Uh, all right, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. Take care.